Okay, let me start over. Why, hello there. It's Christine. If you are new here, it is currently well, after midnight on Friday, February 12th. And today is the day that I'm transforming into Lara Jean. Oh my god. You guys always say that I look like Lara Jean. It's kind of insane how often I get that comment because to all the boys, three is coming out today i thought i would spend the day transforming into lara jean i have a whole game plan a bunch of things i'm going to be doing all day i do still have school i am a college student i will be in class and meetings throughout the day so i guess this is like lara jean college version i will head to sleep and wake up as lara jean very excited it's 8 37 a.m i woke up at 8 i'm trying to get this primer out. I'm going to be doing a makeup look today, like Lara Jean. Kind of a semi smoky look going on. Pretty natural eyebrows. Darkish natural lip. I think this should be good, so we'll see how this turns out. So I have this random CoverGirl palette. I'll probably try playing around with these last two colors. Oh yeah. I use my fingers. I am a child. I put on makeup like a child. Now I'm just gonna take some of that silvery color and put it under my eye. I'm stuck right back. Then I'm going to take this pinkish whitish highlight color and then put it on the under part of my eye, kind of a Korean style. I might take some eyeliner. It doesn't look like she does a lot. A really thin soft line. Very light eyebrows. I've been avoiding it, but I have to do it. Eyelashes time. I'm so bad at lashes. Lip time. So she has a darkish natural lip color. Very matte lipstick. Then some gloss. Top it off with this. It's like an orangish color. Okay, and now for the hair. I'm gonna put my hair to a ponytail. I have pretty long hair. I guess this will be good because Laura Jean also has insanely long hair, but she puts it in a ponytail. Then just for effect, I have a red scrunchie. Here we have the completed <laughs> Lara Jean look. Also, she's not wearing earrings for the outfit that I'm recreating, but I still want to have a little something. Hoops are on, hair is up, makeup is done. I think it is time for the outfits. Okay, this is my final Lara Jean look. Simple pendant necklace, white mock neck, orangish reddish skirt. She has red converse on, but I just have socks on. Also, this is pretty old, so I didn't realize there was a hole here, but that's okay. Like now, to clean my room. I normally have a pretty neat room, but getting ready got messy, and Lara Jean seems to have a messy room most of the time, so maybe this is like in character. <laughs>
like I said, I am in university. Therefore, I do have things to do. Class at 1.30. And then I'm also a research assistant in a lab, a neuroscience lab. But in the meantime, cheers! the same questions in terms of what exactly they did which just covered that i was wondering if there was anything in, in like the fmri data that kind of said anything about the severity of the disorders that the people had was there any note of that in the data or was that not really like taken into consideration Ooh, okay <laughs> Kalia, aka Margot, Christine <laughs> slash Lara Jean's older sister. Oh my god, look at like do a little look at her outfit. She's dressed exactly like Margot. Done with class. It's now like 3 36. We are going to be baking snickerdoodles. This is actually like a recipe because like in the book. Oh my god, it's Kitty's, Kitty's actual recipe. So we're gonna be baking snickerdoodles because the Covey sisters love baking. Absolutely. So we're doing it. <laughs> Love you guys! Yay! 
Showing the cheese. Can I see it? Oh, that's adorable. I'm so happy that Alexa's here. <laughs> but then I took off the lashes. <laughs> I do still have two more things I need to do as Lara Jean. I do need to do a face mask and read a little bit more. I'll do that right before bed, but right now I'm going to write a love letter fully with stationery and all. You may be wondering, Christine, a love letter to who? Why? What are you going to say? It's a fantastic question. And that is when I say I'm writing a love letter to myself. <laughs> not really taking the time to slow down and appreciate everything that I do for others and for myself. It would be a great time to write a nice little love letter. This is so weird. <laughs> Addressing it to myself. Dear Christine, if someone were to answer what is great about Christine Lee, they might talk about Harvard, YouTube, your academic accomplishments, your positivity and bubbliness. Don't be mistaken, I'm so, so insanely proud of you for all the above, but that's not all that's great about you. You feel and love and empathize so deeply and care so deeply for others. You have taken this great big heart of yours to so many beautiful places and have done so in a beautiful body that is working properly and capable of so much. We'll be going to so many more beautiful places and I know this to be a fact because you're the kind of person to make that happen. I love that about you. Before draining yourself of love by pouring it out to others, remember that that love can't come from a place of emptiness. I love how your face is turned toward the sun almost by default. Keep doing that. Speaking quite nicely about myself while A, truly meaning it, and B, not thinking of numerous negative things at the same time or right after is quite difficult, but I'll be damned if I don't make this a lifelong effort. At the end of the day, it's just you and me, so I'm going to love the hell out of you for every second of it. I love you, always and forever. <laughs> love, Christine. Nice. I think it was kind of hard to write it. I appreciated this though. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> First, I'm gonna wash off my makeup, put on a face mask, read, and then go to sleep. I think this was a really nice way to end it. Consider writing yourself a love letter because why not? Valentine's Day is a day of love. It can also be about self-love. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>